Good morning, Amador County. This is Supervisor John Plass here to give the board update from yesterday's Board of Supervisors, uh, Tuesday, September 24th. We started off with uh, public matters not on the agenda and received a uh, notification from our airport manager, Dave Shepard, about this weekend's upcoming Airport Appreciation Day. That is called Wings and Wheels at Westover. Uh, great event, a car show up there, airplane show, uh, something really cool to bring the kids. Uh, free airplane rides for kids ages 8 to 17. Uh, there's foods from Dickies and Jamba Juice, and CalStar will be there with their uh, air ambulance helicopter. So lot, lots of great opportunities up there and, and a good, uh, good family day for the kids at our local airport. We started our regular agenda with a uh, continuation of an item from September 10th. This is the amendment of our speed limit ordinance on some of our local roads. Uh, we're required to do speed surveys on those roads, and the results of those speed surveys tend to recommend speed limits to be set on those roads. Um, in this cycle, we had three roads that were recommended to have the speed increased on those roads from that speed survey. That was Climax Road, Shake Ridge Road, and Willow Creek Road down in the Ione area. Um, we uh, really didn't feel strongly about increasing the speed limits on those roads. Uh, as many of you know, those roads have some very windy sections and uh, are subject to uh, di difficult positions and, and conditions given the number of driveway access points on those roads, sometimes around blind curves or vertical curves that, uh, that impede the visibility of drivers on those roads. So we, uh, we did... Uh, decide as a board to keep the prima facie speed limit on Climax, Shake Ridge, and Willow Creek roads to the limits they are now rather than going with the recommendation to raise them. Uh, basically a, a, a safety decision on the part of your Board of Supervisors and I, I think a wise one. Um, we followed up that agenda item with uh, two resolutions recognizing longtime employees. Uh, uh, one for Mr. Bobby Oliveria upon 36 years with Amador County uh, Road Department and also for Mr. Bob Fort upon his retirement from the Environmental Health Department in Amador County. Uh, next we had a presentation from Mr. Daryl Slocum and Frank Lashinsky of Volcano Communications. Uh, they were asked to come give the sort of a status update to the board. You, many of you may remember the uh, CVIN scenic project that is a fiber optic backbone going from the Central Valley up here to Amador County to improve uh, broadband and internet access and speeds here in Amador County. Uh, we heard about a number of the accomplishments of Volcano Communications over the last year, and, and I'll list a few of them. They have, uh, they have offered their first fiber optic cable to the home deployment in Amador County. This was offered to about 60 homes up in the Lamel Heights area, and a very unique and forward-thinking uh, uh, development of that is they're also using the old copper lines that access those homes to provide low voltage DC power uh, exclusive of the grid so that the internet service in those areas remains powered up in times of, uh, of power outages. So they're using the old lines to send power in and bringing in new fiber optic lines there at Lamel Heights, also committing to do that same procedure for the entire Kirkwood uh, home area down around the base of Kirkwood there. They have expanded fiber optic from Highway 88 down to Bear River Resort and the home tract. Uh, Volcano Communications is also just always continually pushing the uh, fiber optic infrastructure closer and closer to the homes. This uh, brings a much more reliable and higher speed and, and almost unlimited bandwidth uh, to these areas. Uh, another great uh, accomplishment of Volcano is that they have put in a, their own fiber optic backbone uh, down to the Stockton area. Uh, so again, this, uh, this increases the amount of backhaul or, or internet traffic that can be exported from Amador County down into the primary uh, backbone of uh, Central California down in, the, down in the San Joaquin and Sacramento Valleys there. Uh, Volcano's efforts almost double the county's capacity to uh, carry and, and export digital content 
so we really look at this as a potential economic driver for any businesses that are dependent on that type of capability and also uh, helps us be prevented from losing internet service in the event of a of an obstruction that may have happened over the years. So many good things coming from Volcano Communications and we thank them for their presence here. Uh, the board also decided to retain its membership in the Mountain Counties Water Resources Association. This association has a specific emphasis on the protection of county of origin water rights and, uh, and our, uh, just our access to our watershed to see to it that we don't become another uh, Mono Lake, I guess, and, and have the uh, powers that be in the Central Valley in Southern California uh, sort of abscond with uh, the water that keeps our counties going. I uh, also heard a presentation from Mr. Scott Oneto of the University of California Cooperative Extension. This is the organization that offers programs such as the Master Gardeners Program and our 4-H program. Um, Scott was informed by the board that we're not entirely happy with the level of, uh, level of service and level of funding that is coming to our local 4-H program. We're, we're getting a little bit of the short end of the stick on that, so uh, we're asking them to uh, help bring that program back with a little more uh, robust participation on the part of this multi-county organization. And lastly, uh, we voted on the uh, Community Development Block Grant. These are CDBG grants, usually for infrastructure projects and planning for infrastructure projects within our county. The county is the lead agency in applying for those grants, and we have probably approximately about a million dollars available to us. Uh, we received a request from the River Pines Public Utilities District to be included in that. We had already decided to apply for that grant for the Amador Water Agency to improve upcountry uh, water pressures and fire flow at some of the hydrants up there and found that there should be enough money in the program to support both entities' efforts. And we voted to, to do that and extend 70000 to uh, River Pines. So that's the extent of our board meeting yesterday, Tuesday the 24th. Thank you for listening, and we'll be right back. Thank you. You're watching Amador County's local television network, TSPN. Bravo.